Hello and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Houston, and this week's episode is brought to you by Ball and Doggett, Australia's largest distributor of printable materials for packaging and the creator of the Eco Pouring by Ball and Doggett platform, which will be coming to you live at the Apex Trade Show on stand B020. In our lead story this week, Close the Loop has opened its new upgraded post-consumer soft plastics recycling plant, marking a major milestone in the industry's quest to find a solution for hard to recycle materials like soft plastic. I was lucky enough to be among the visitors at the new facility in Reservoir, Melbourne, and the size of the crowd was testament to the significance this development holds for the industry. It was welcomed by peak industry bodies like APCO, Planet Arc, the AIP, the Soft Plastics Task Force, which is made up of Australia's major supermarkets, and the wider industry with a stake in solving Australia's soft plastics waste problem. Now, as the facility comes on stream in February and ramps up production throughout 2024, it will be operating at over one tonne per hour, four to five times the capacity of the previous line, which had succumbed to a fire in 2022. Speaking at the opening, Close the Loop Group CEO Joe Foster explained that through this line, the company will manufacture its patented Tonaplast, which goes into asphalt roads, and R-Flex materials made from complex post-consumer materials, keeping them out of landfill and in use within high-performance applications. In fact, he said, our facility prides itself on our promise, zero waste to landfill. Head of Circularity at Close the Loop, Steve Morris, who is also the founder of the company, said Close the Loop has plans to roll out its business model to other states so that local people can turn local waste soft plastics into high-value products for local markets. That's what we like to hear. Next up, Australians will now have access to recycling instructions on qualifying paper cups thanks to a partnership between the Australian Packaging Covenant Organisation's Australasian Recycling Label Programme and paper cup recycling programme program called Simply Cups. Paper cups pose a significant recycling challenge in regular Australian curbside collections due to their waterproof lining. Simply Cups, acknowledged as an alternative destination under the ARL program, has introduced a distinctive drop-off only logo on qualifying paper cups which directs consumers to recycle their paper cup at one of more than 1500 collection points across Australia. Following Collection Simply Cups partners with reprocessors who use innovative technologies to transform the used cups into new products like roads and lightweight, lightweight concrete slabs, diverting them from landfill. Then to financial news next, revenue at ProPack Packaging saw a rise of 5% in the quarter to December 31, driven by new Flexibles customers in what the company said was a challenging market. Sales rose to 81.1 million for the quarter, up from 77.8 million in the previous three months, with Flexibles up to 63.9 million over 60.6 million before. Uh, specialty packaging was steady. Propac said trading environment continues to be challenging as the cost of living crisis impacts on discretionary spending for consumers. Then over to Jet Technologies, which is making what it says is a significant step forward in providing sustainable and innovative packaging solutions to Australia and New Zealand end users by partnering with Actiga, a new partnership. Actiga is a global specialist in coating, sealants, printing inks and adhesives for the packaging industry. The partnership will focus on showcasing a number of Actiga's products in Australia and New Zealand, including highly abrasion resistant matte and gloss coatings, coatings for in-mold labels and the Act Green Barrier coatings. Jet says all these products are designed to meet the growing demand for sustainable packaging solutions, providing easy and efficient recycling of end products and meeting upcoming recycling requirements regarding packaging waste and recyclability. So see Jet Technologies at Apex too. And finally, dairy producer Fonterra has introduced Naked Moz, a mozzarella wrapped in only the most basic plastic wrap, a move the company says will spare 330 tons of cardboard each year, translating to annual savings of more than, well, close to a million. The company moves over 12,000 tons of its Perfect Italiana mozzarella from the company's Stanhope manufacturing site in northern Victoria to be shredded at a secondary processing site in Tullamarine in Melbourne every year. Uh, Jenny Phillips, who is Fonterra's Austra Fonterra Australia's Sustainable Packaging Manager, said that this initiative is just one of 26 sustainable packaging projects in progress. 
And just a reminder, in case you hadn't worked it out yet, Apex, Australia's biggest expo for the processing and packaging industry, is just over six weeks away, with over 400 exhibitors packing out the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Centre, and a full program of speakers and in-show events. This is not to be missed. Registration is open and it's free on apex.com.au. Well, that's all from me, folks. For more on these and other stories, do head over to our website, packagingnews.com.au. Thank you, as ever, for watching.